I do believe Akaika would have done it by himself, but um, he comes from a totally different place than us. And I guess the decision that was getting relayed from the eldest person in the family was to get Akaika home. I can't be there today with you guys. I really can't. I want to, but I can't. <clears throat> Seriously. I just wanted to let you know that if there's circumstances beyond your control that you cannot do this, we are gonna have to understand. As much as we want you there, as much as we need you there, I'm gonna have to understand because of, aside of all the business, I'm your friend first. So I have to be your friend and understand where you're coming from. It's cool, man. I went to the auditions because I saw, you know, Backstreet Boys and in sync and all that stuff. And when you see them, all you see is their CD and you hear their music. That's what I wanted to do, you know? But um, you don't know the price that they have to pay. So I didn't know that. I didn't know the price that they had to pay. Now I'm up here, I know. And um, it's just, it's too much already. And it's time to head home and just get back to normal. I hope he looks back and says he made the right decision because I really would hate for him to live his whole life, you know, in regret because he didn't make a decision on his own. A lot of new stuff that's going to happen. Marcia. My immediate reaction was, who's it going to be now, Mike or Brian? Brian, Mike, and Paul will always be part of the family, and I'll always look at them as, as brothers. But in such a short time, everything has changed. This was meant to happen. This supposed to happen. We sat down and we were like, what are we going to do? What's going to happen now? You know, we're, we're four guys in what was supposedly going to be a five-part group. As far as our decision goes, when we get to the table and we say this is what we want, I think we should say let's stay as four. Yeah. Can I'm we really screwed. pull it off? Yeah. C-Note's done it. Voice to man. So as far as maybe I would go, we just go in and record it. We'll put in Trevor in the ballot. Hey, come on. Oh my God. First of all, right now, hold on a second. That, that part can be done. Yeah. That, that part can get done, trust me. We have big shoes to fill. Akaika's range is incredible. The sky's the limit with this group. Our range ain't that bad either, though. It's seriously up to us, more than you guys, I think, think. We've only recorded two songs, and luckily those two songs are three-part harmony. That's how I look at it. We have not screwed ourselves one bit. In my gut, there could be no other solution but to remain as four. I'm thinking, oh, oh. It's like my throat hurts like a lot. It's because of that LA smog. I haven't felt this bad in a long time. It's so good to be back. So, last I left you, you have a nice photo shoot, everything was great. <laughs> In sunny California. Quite frankly, I'm blown away that Akaika left. So, okay, that's the situation. What can you do about it? I mean, it happened, it happened. We're not going to go chase after him and, you know, force him to be here. You know, now it leaves us in a precarious situation. Do you want to get our insight first before? Oh, I know what you want to do. Okay. This is common sense. I mean, you guys are family together. Okay, as a unit, and to bring somebody in, it's like bringing a fifth wheel, I know that. Good and bad of having four guys versus five guys, obviously. Five-part harmony, you're in full competitive spirit with any five-person group out there for the sound. Certainly, if one guy gets sick, when you have five guys, four can do a show. But none, nonetheless, when we originally made this plan, it was supposed to be for five people. But most importantly, is you guys got to work on it very tight four-part harmony. Somebody take a Kaika's part. That's that's your mission now. We need to make it clear that we could we could handle it. We could handle singing Baby I Would as just four guys and make it sound good. Not just make it sound good, make it sound excellent and outstanding. If it sounds just as good, that's something we're gonna talk about. If it sounds like it's missing, gotta talk about it, right? If they bring in someone from the outside, then we need to be prepared to deal with it. That's all. I'm telling you, bro, I'm I'm my gut feeling is that we should stay as four. 
And I personally am not gonna make it easy to be to bring in another member. The first time that I that that we the first, the first time that I had a gut feeling and we went a, we went along with some what someone else says, look at what happened. We called the kaiku from the beginning and now we're suffering for it. That's true. That's a very good point. If we're a group right now, then we should all be on the same page with how we're gonna react. You can't to walk this. in there all feeling different ways. The way you guys are coming off now, I'm not feeling the way you guys are. And you have to understand that that's my view. It's not yours. When your view affects us in a bad way, then we don't respect that. We're forced to. I'm gonna welcome with open arms and try and get his ass up to where we are. It's not hard to understand that if a new person were to come in and all of us were treat him like an outcast, that we would not get up to speed, we would not get to tour on time like we wanted to, and we would not be tight. How like would that group. help the band? How would that help us? That's Mike. To this up. person. Because he hasn't been with us. Like if it was Mike or something, or if it was Brian, I would definitely welcome him with open arms. But someone else from outside, I can I can do that. Eric's like a strong-minded individual, you know, if he thinks a certain way, then it's not real easy to like influence him. But like, unfortunately, Mike and Brian's voices don't fit in with the type of voice we need right now. They don't complete our sound. As much as I love them, if we're going to get a fifth member, then it's going to have to be somebody totally new. I mean, if I didn't have my gut, I wouldn't be here right now, seriously. 